Hello, I'm back finally again with another video. Uh, so in this video, I would like to share with you the most important thing that I have learned through my experiences and relationship with Shayla. And uh, it's always experiences that uh, can ground our spiritual knowledge or teachings, you know, the sayings, all the sayings. Uh, you can have beliefs and set of a lot of you know teachings but uh, only through the experience you really can understand them and not just understand them but fully in a large degree uh, understand what it really means you know because when you don't have a uh, experience of course you can understand a certain saying some way you know you are not stupid so you understand but with the experience it brings much much deeper understanding what it really means and so the most important thing that i have learned through my experiences and connection and relationship with, with shela is that um they are not more than us let's say it this way this simple simply um because i i had definitely belief and i discovered it at some point that I definitely see them as something more because they are more capable in many different ways, you know, like they are more clever, they can teleport, they are telepathic and um, they have like these deeper truths, you know, that we are just opening up to. But um, the core understanding is that uh, because we are human, we are incarnating into this simulation, it doesn't mean that we are less, you know, our energy is still very capable. It's just the settings that we have chosen. And it doesn't mean or say that we are not as great as they are. And of course, I, I think that probably all, you know, like a spiritual and people and in the community would, would uh, have the belief, like, of course, we are one, we are all equal, 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 <laughs> um, but at the same time, uh, when you when you see them interact with, uh, for example, channelers or just on their own with the beings, they always come from like this, like a submissive, uh, like I am less than you. I have to somehow al almost like worship you. You know, you I need to be very respectful by putting myself down or less and putting them on pedestal. Simply put. Um, and you can see it, you know, and uh, so I was always kind of like uh, rebellious and for me always like on a, on a level of humans, I see everyone as equal, you know, like especially like with the hierarchies, like in, uh, I didn't see older people or something like I should respect just because they are, you know, uh, older or something in that sense. But there were there was point when I was already connecting with Shela, but I didn't understand it. But this is probably the reason why I was getting these thoughts, you know, like I was having these dreams and lucid dreams of a romantic connection, and I thought like, yeah, that's probably just rep re representation of me connecting with myself and uh, amplifying my, my self love, um, and it was definitely upgrading me, and uh, you know aligning me with the with the true self-love and um uh i was thinking like yeah like i feel like with this with this love with this energy that i'm embodying right now and, and yeah and grounding in myself i felt like yeah i don't i am not really interested in relationship with humans or, or on earth you know and i was like yeah maybe extraterrestrial woman and then then immediately i was like oh like I, I looked at myself kind of like, like, no, I, I can imagine like uh, extraterrestrial woman would be interested in me, like me who can even teleport is basically uh, or barely telepathic in a way. And, you know, I, I would be just uh, so, so lame, you know, for the type of being, you know, and so uh, that's funny. So I definitely had this belief, you know, and this, this feeling about myself that I would be not interesting for for that type of being and uh, yeah I'm not sure if my cat doesn't want to get in from the balcony he will have to wait uh, so uh, the experiences that I had with Shayla because she taught me how to 
um, connect with her in a tantric ways, let's say that way. It's energetic work in a tantric uh, ways, you know, working with a... It's not like it's just external. It's like I needed to open up to her, she opened up to me, but the ways or techniques she taught me, so I connect with her, I please her, <laughs> I say this way, um, please her in, in those ways that uh, she wanted to connect with me. Um, and I did those things. Like I had experiences with her that surprised me as well as they surprised even her. And I was capable of creating experiences for her that expanded her even when she's like on other level. My energy was capable of boosting her expansion to the levels that or there was one experience that was very extreme for her as well that it's I sensed her because as I say like I open up to her and she open up opens up to me so I can sense all that is going on with her you know she can trigger Kundalini in me as well with her experience and so on um, so I was sensing that she was getting into very sensitive spot and she expanded into levels that she was just shocked and kind of like almost like jittery in, in a way and uh, shaky uh, but not in a bad way it was just overwhelming for her and uh, at the time it was uh, back in like 2016 and at the time i was also uh, talking to her through another channeler and I asked her about this specific experience and through him she confirmed that yeah basically she didn't say anything new she just confirmed it with a slightly different words but yeah basically that's what she said like her consciousness expanded exactly into the levels she she never experienced before and she couldn't even experience with other ETs you know and so uh, it's probably our type of connection that we have, you know, that she, de she describes it as a twin flame type of connection and it's sacred union as well. So, so that's why it can be so powerful and it's not just for me, but for her as well. So when, when I get these experiences that I can totally feel, and as, as I said, like when you are as well having these experiences, energetic, you know, if you are properly grounded and integrating yourself and doing also deeper work with yourself, you are more capable of even understanding what is going on. When you expand your consciousness, that understanding just comes and it integrates and naturally just gives you understanding of, uh, of more things, you know, R more things that reflect what you just integrated, you know. So it's kind of like as well, I, yeah, th this was probably, this would be idea for another video that I was thinking about. Sometimes I feel like I should give a warning <laughs> towards this type, this type of connections, because if you don't do the proper inner work and really grounding and working on yourself, not just being avoidant, being, you know, like toxic positivity and basically avoiding to really understand let's say ugly parts that you judge you know you who is like so unconditionally loving and non-judgmental yeah but you are avoiding all those parts of yourself then y people like that can actually go mad if they open up to these energies you know and it can make them crazy so that's why uh, inner work and spiritual development on a personal level first is most important and even if you are not doing it it can even prevent you from having those experiences sometimes you can open up but again it's just a challenge for you to again work on yourself and integrate it properly everything and um uh yeah so if you somehow it happens somehow open up way too much and especially you know, like uh, people, when they go into darker experiences, they have uh, darker entities in their field. They unfortunately can open up these channels for you and stuff like that. And why I say unfortunately, because they abuse you through them. They act like, okay, uh, they help you in, in some way, psychically and stuff like that. But it's only for them to control you or the person. And uh, they even 
feed you to develop spiritual ego. So that's why even spiritual ego is, in, is dangerous. Uh, so, and when people are like this and, and have a kind of like a narcissistic type of personality, when they are opening up to this type of energies, they're not, they are not capable of handling it in a healthy way. And that is level when, when it's dangerous, you know. So that's why the healthiest way is to really work on yourself. And if you are even in the in the stage when you have opened up psychically a lot while you are still, you know, not so properly healthy, like the best way is to and yeah, this is the thing they 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 lure you. You know, it's like a you know de not demon like devil. You know, devil. It's it's luring you. You know, like uh, into like this uh, uh, grandiose. Um, spiritual experiences you want it you still crave it you know it's your escape and um uh, but you know like you in in that case those people really need to disconnect even stop doing or working on this spiritual type of their life and really or those that psychic let's say psychic part of the life and get more grounded into this reality will disconnect try to disconnect from those so they can really heal and heal heal it's like a, more like adjust their psychology uh or yes yeah, so psychology i don't know how to say it in english properly mindset and way of thinking and so on so it's actually healthy and it needs a lot of actually inner exploration and yeah like this is people who are more extreme but i think there are a lot of people like that I don't know if people like that are actually capable of listening to me and this advice, I would say they are not, uh, but um, it still can help if you are or you have been struggling with something like this or even seen in other people, it can help you to actually gain another you know, level of understanding of all this. So yes, uh, spiritual experience is amazing opening up your consciousness amazing amazing but again like don't avoid grounding inner work reflecting and judging judging yourself because judgment judge, judgment is understanding of all the bits and understanding all only can lead to more empathy empathy towards yourself and true empathy and so you are not toxic towards yourself and other people you know so it's important, you know, um, to do that. But yeah, I, I wanted to make a video about like, yeah, okay, this is how I learned that, you know, we are, we are not less than them uh, or not just eat this, but even like whatever higher, <clears throat> higher dimensional energies, like for example, Cryon, who I understand is not entity that's, that incarnates, or archangels or whatever like that, you know, uh, they are, we are all EQ. But this type of experience really made me understand it, you know. It's just a type of being. For example, if you take Cryon, like his type of being, when you take As Ascended Master, that's type of being. Archangel, that's type of being. Human is type of being. The type of being doesn't mean that there should be a judgment of like if it's something less or more you know it just is it's for the whole experience hold right and even cryon if they if he w would want or you know like if he would theoretically incarnate as a human because he w he would like to have that experience he wouldn't be less than what he is like as a cryon you know as well so that's the same for us but there's this type of also like again belief without true experience can lead to again another grandiose spiritual ego that just wants to be like something uh, you know and usually that uh, that is expressed through kind of like you can sense people like that who who feel like they're more than you you know they project it like yeah worship me kind of like thing so again these are type of people they're not getting it really um, so yeah, I will end my speech here. 
I managed to do it under 15 minutes. I have a few seconds. So <laughs> thank you for watching. And um, in a few days, I guess, I will I will come up with another video. And I don't know. I will do, again, as I said, some channeling soon. But uh, I'm not sure when, like, um, when I decide. So um, a few videos, maybe I will be speaking about stuff because I got a lot of ideas. But uh, I will get also into some, some channeling again. Uh, doing it with the camera without anyone else uh it's not that simple as like talking with someone you know like and doing it for someone so i need to get back to that uh you know, type of uh, channeling as well so thank you and i hope you are looking for more <laughs> and so see you uh, next time bye bye